Hey everybody, my name is Matt Bell. I'm best known as an electric violinist, but I actually own an acoustic violin as well. So it won't surprise you that I need to electrify this thing from time to time, and I really, really like the KNA wireless pickup. Mounting the KNA wireless pickup on the side of your instrument is super easy. First, you mount the transmitter on the side of the instrument using the chin rest tool that's supplied. And then you slide the sensor into the wing slot of your bridge. You can put it on the treble side or the bass side of your bridge, depending on whether you want a richer or a brighter sound. If for some reason that wing slot is not big enough, you can remove a little bit of wood on the bottom part of that using some fine grit sandpaper. One of the great things about the KNA wireless pickup is that the transmitter and the receiver are both rechargeable. You don't have to worry about keeping track of batteries. There's a charging cable that comes with the kit that can charge the transmitter and the receiver at the same time. Pairing the transmitter and receiver is dead simple. Start with the transmitter. There's a power switch right here on the side. Flip that on and you'll see the blue light come on. Then you'll take the receiver. There's a power switch on the side. You turn that on, blue light comes on, they're paired. The plus and minus button on the transmitter have multiple functions. The most obvious is volume. When you turn the unit on, it's going to be at 8 out of 13. That's the default. If you want it louder, you press the plus button. Quieter, you press the minus button. Once you get to the maximum volume, the blue light's going to flash. Speaking of flashing lights, if you're playing and this blue light starts to flash, it means your battery is starting to run low. You should probably recharge it. How long does that battery last? About six hours under normal circumstances, and it takes about 90 minutes to fully recharge the transmitter and the receiver. I mentioned that the plus and minus buttons have multiple functions. Imagine that you're in an ensemble and more than one of you have purchased this unit. You're gonna have to pick different channels so that your transmitter goes to your receiver and their transmitter goes to their receiver. So in that case, you are gonna have to pair each unit and you're gonna have to change channels. In order to change channels on your unit, you're gonna to have to pair the transmitter with the receiver again, and the way to reset that pairing is to turn this on and hold the plus button until that blue light starts flashing. When this light starts flashing, you can turn on the receiver. When you turn on the receiver, its blue light is gonna start flashing, when it stops flashing, you're paired. In order to switch channels, you're gonna hold the minus button down until the light starts to flash. And now you have entered channel changing mode, it's gonna change channels. You're gonna perform that operation once on the first instrument, you're gonna perform that operation twice on the second instrument, three times on the third instrument, etc. You can pair up to 40 sets of transmitters and receivers. These units are rechargeable. When you plug them into the USB connection that was supplied, this light will turn red to let you know that it is charging. When it's done charging, that light will turn off. A note, when you go into pairing mode with this, you hold down the plus button until the light starts to flash, you have about 10 seconds to turn this unit on so that they will pair. If you wait more than 10 seconds, it's gonna kick out of pairing mode and it's not gonna hook up. In that case, just start it again and turn this on a little faster next time. If there are multiple people using these units in a band and you start to have crosstalk, meaning that your signal is coming out of somebody else's amp, you're gonna to need to change channels on these again. So reset them, pair them, and then change channels the way we discussed. Once you change channels on your unit, it's gonna stay changed. So once you go through this process for all the members of your ensemble, you shouldn't have to go through it again unless there's a problem. If you are changing channels on multiple units at a time, only turn one of them on, change the channel, and then turn it off. Go to the second one, turn it on, change the channel, and then turn it off. Go to the third one, etc. The last thing we need are these things getting confused trying to figure out which one they're talking to. Congratulations on purchasing your new KNA wireless pickup. I know you're going to love this thing. I love mine. If you've got questions or problems with your unit, be sure to hit up the fine folks at KNA. They've got outstanding customer service.